We're here at the 2007 Concorso Italiano, just one of the many stops in the Pebble Beach Monterey weekend, encompassing three concours, five auctions, and the most spectacular historic racing you could ever hope to find. We love Concorso Italiano. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy in Monterey, California. It is Concorso Italiano. I don't know if I say that right, but it sounds good to me. I love this event. Larry Allerson and I hang out a lot almost every Saturday morning at our local cruise. And we had our cameras there the other day. Family classic cars. Larry is one of the gurus in the country, but certainly Orange County where I live. If you want anything from a Nissan Skyline to an Enzo Ferrari, he sells dreams and investments. What a great, what a great fly. I appreciate it. Of course, one of the other great Italian marks is Maserati. From the uh, early 60s, Maserati 3500 GTs in both coupes and spiders, uh, all the way up to the new cars, to the fabulous MC12 Maserati, is Maserati's supercar. It was made to outdo Ferrari's Enzo, and it certainly does in both looks and performance. Only 50 of these have ever been produced for world production, and this is one beautiful example. It's a 6-liter V12 six-speed car that is just stunning to look at. Maserati is coming back in a big way. Coming up, we have our Auto Aficionado Award, the Hemmings Motor News Award, the 101st anniversary of uh, the Milan San Remo Award, and our special presentation automobile it's a beautiful 53 Seata 208s now the Seatas what they did was buy the remaining v8 cylinder engines that Fiat produced Fiat had the eight V's that they came out with and they called them eight V's because they mistakenly thought that Ford had patented the name V8 so they called them 8Vs. They were a very successful car and Seata bought them and what had been a four-cylinder car before they stuffed these 8Vs in and they came up with a wonderful sports racing car that had many successes in sports racing in its day. Another very unique car is the, this 1955 Lancia Aurelia B24 Spider America. This car is becoming one of the most sought after certainly of the Lancias. It's a great driving car and unique styling and is eminently collectible all over the planet. This example looks to be extremely original. Interior, paint, you can see some of the uh, uh, unique uh, cosmetic painting schemes that they had in uh, in the day but this is a very sought-after car the car is found sitting for 30 years one of the all-time classic Ferrari collectibles is the Daytona Spider now this 12-cylinder 4 cam car has 178 miles an hour off the showroom floor and with only 132 examples of the convertible, prices have been going over a million dollars here. This is one of the greatest cars to drive and enjoy ever. Always be a classic. This car has the optional velocity stacks for the carburetors, which give it a really great sound and an awesome look. Um, the interior on this car is 
they still use the name Daytona Interiors. This was the first one where they used the contrasting colors in the seats in this type pattern. And even in today's 430s, uh, they still use the term Daytona Interior. This car being judged. This is, uh, this is one of the head judges, and as you can see, they're extremely thorough. They go through everything. We had to pull out, check all the tools, all the spare books. Uh, they do an extensive, <laughs> thorough job. Uh, but there's so many gorgeous cars here that uh, they have to do that because the littlest things that always make the difference in the end. This is a 1959 Ferrari 250 GT long wheelbase California Spider. Oh, did I mention covered headlight? This is one of the all-time classics. These cars were made with America in mind and you can just tell from the style and the performance. They are also one of the most sought after of collector cars today with prices from anywhere from two and a half to five million dollars. The incredible styling of these cars is one of the most beautiful styled cars ever. A wonderful car and highly prized by today's collectors. I hope you've enjoyed the day at the 2007 Concorso Italiano.